It's actually Yupen, I think. Okay. Yupen player. Going by Ghost now. Okay. Uh, he plays both Fox and Marth. And he's like a really streaky player. Like sometimes he'll perform really well, other times not so much. Over Triforce, uh, we saw a lot of his ridiculous offstage antics yesterday. Yeah. Um, in teams, impressing many of us. Yeah, and uh, he does the same stuff in singles. <laughs> yeah, he really does. So, that being said, Ghost is off to a great start so far. Yeah, unfortunately does not crouch cancel the forward smash, which would have led to an up smash or uh, a hit off stage. A little tech chase action from over Triforce. Going pretty well so far. And you know what? Like, coming from PAL, that down throw must feel so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's so much retribution. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm sure uh, all PAL cheek players love coming. That was a really clever uh, needle that looked like might cover that if he did it just a little better. Yeah, so you do not want to DI back on that down throw at high percent as Fox. That's always going to lead to either a forward tilt or a down smash. Yep, yep. Got to DI out. It's like after 80 something, I think. If it sounds about right. Okay. Ghost looking pretty comfortable with the matchup in general. Okay. Oh, man. That is going to happen, especially when you are against the edge and you like s lose all of your stage control as a uh, fox. Fox, a character who I think offensively doesn't need as stage as badly as some other characters does, uh, because he just has so much mobility. Right. But on the terms of defense, it's vitally important for him. Yeah, his recovery is long, and you can force 50/50s with it. But still, like, there's a 50% chance you die. You do right. not want to be over there. Yeah. For sure. Over Triforce adjusting hard. Yeah. Now with a big lead. Starting to run away with this one a little bit. We'll see what Ghost can do to bring us back. Okay. Up tilt to up air is not quite going to finish it, especially not on Dreamland. Which is why I personally, when I play this matchup, tend to strike this stage, actually. You strike to either you Battlefield or Fountain? Uh, usually Fountain. Really? Yeah, I prefer Fountain over Battlefield against Sheik. I do like, um, I think the juggling is really strong on Fountain. Yeah. Like, up smash through platform uh, when they're low, or the up yeah. is really good. Oh, man. <laughs> Off the candle hard. Yeah. Rover will definitely go for those suicide kills when he has the lead like that. Um, he's just a madman off stage in general. And he has such good posture. He does. Yeah, he just knows. <laughs> knows yesterday, and he just can't stop looking at it. <laughs> FD, really strong choice for Fox. Yeah. Um, so the ground game's always going to be hotly contested uh, in this matchup. That's just the way it is. But Sheik having the, uh, like, something to help her get down from juggles and being extra punishable for jumps because there's no chance that she's going to, like, you know, wave land to a platform or something right. makes the stage just really strong for Fox. Yeah. That and he can just wave shine all the way across the stage. <laughs> yeah, the combo goes a little bit longer. Right. That extra 10% from shine or whatever yeah. it is. It's a relatively low ceiling as well, so he's going to get true. her off the top quickly. Oh, man. Over taking these trades to the bank. Yeah, really clever edge guard ends up uh, with stock lead. Yeah, that needle was so key for that edge guard as well, just to keep it going. But Ghost does find that kill, bringing it back to three stocks apiece. All right, we've got a tech chase going once again. Over Triforce came uh, big on his tech chase on Dreamland. He did the same sort of thing. A few regrabs. Oh man! Edge guarding wow. excellence. Great stuff from over on that uh, wall jump to turn around needle to grab the edge. Yeah. Too. Not necessary because oh wow, ghost with the shine. He puts it right back up. He says, "I got some crazy edge guard too." Yeah. Not, not quite as crazy. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's crazy in a different way. Yeah. Like it's crazy that that can happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. And and yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> That, that almost didn't make sense for Over to go for that, but he did anyway, just because. Yeah, that's probably the reason. <laughs> that, that sounds like the, the most that's plausible That's probably reason. what was going on in his head. Just, just might as well. Yeah, I mean, he, after you get that Nair to snipe the, uh, okay, good trade, to yeah. snipe the um, illusion, I think you kind of just grab the ledge and then, like, back air, and then you cover everything. Yeah, yeah. You do it a few times, then win the game. Right. It's pretty solid game plan. Won the game anyway. Yeah. Um, by trading, he used needles in the close Firefox. And yeah, then, the yeah. the trades, the purposeful trades that Over was going for, uh, really good off stage. Over with a lot of the really unique chic stuff, uses the needles in a clever way, especially to cover the ledge when he thinks the character may jump back up to it. 
uh, which uh -huh. is something we don't see from many Sheiks. You see all the crazy offstage stuff. And I really like the way he tech chases. I think it's a very good mix. It seems like a very intuitive mix of the reaction-based re-grab style and the uh, like dash attack or forward tilt follow-up style. Right, right. Oh, he gets back on stage. Yeah, oh, barely. That's not pal. <laughs> And in fact, once again, I think that just that, like, you can kind of drag the backer hitbox for such a long time with those model legs. Uh -huh. You can just, like, cover all that space. Right. Okay. Nice. I do like that down tilt. Yeah, yeah that was really smart. Baited out that forward air. Oh. <laughs> Stuck in his movement. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't get too much off it. Uh oh, he's off stage now, and he. Over, over is the last person you want to shine stall against. Uh, you want to try to get back on stage as fast as you can. Like, it's it's not a good look if you're below the, the edge at all. Yeah, so the one thing that he's not covering, and I think it's because Ghost hasn't really done it yet, is jump back. So he's done needles to cover the ledge, and then he's dove down after a shine stall to get him. Right. And, like, he can do kind of both of those at the same time. So yeah. I think the mix-up that wins is maybe air dodge on the stage one, or two, jump back off the stage. Yeah, over Triforce's edge guarding has been uh, incredible. Yeah. Can Ghost match his edge guarding? Oh, no. Wow. What crazy Smash the Eye from over getting him out of that wave shine. Yeah, it looked like Smash the Eye plus he might not have been all the way on the ground yet. Yeah, that, that was probably it because I don't know how he made that happen otherwise. Oh, oh man. And getting a little bit desperate here is Ghost. Okay. Yeah. Not even trade, so that's good. Yeah. Um, Finally now, finds that kill. even stocks. You know, a Ghost has gotten quite a few early stocks, so I think if he wants to bring this back, uh, this is his chance. Yeah. Okay. Big fan of up there, up smash, actually, myself. Yeah. Um, so she can obviously jump out of it, but almost all Sheik players will just fall back to the ground after you up throw yeah. and try to, like, aerial you or whatever. So up throw, up, up smash, actually, pretty solid against Sheik most of the time. In particular, at zero. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, the uh, I see a lot of people go to back air when they can't quite get the up air. Percents too low. Ghost holding the stage a little. Oh, tries to get sneak to the edge before over. Can't get there in time. Strong forward air on shield. Not perfectly spaced. Ends up getting shield grabbed. It over tries to react. Just gets hit by the get up attack. Just nicked by it. Oh, nice soft air. Into the forward air. 3 0 for over Triforce. Moving on in winner's bracket. Not a bad showing from Ghost. But uh, over his edge guarding was too good. I know we haven't talked about yet is uh, the production crew VGBC has played out the red carpet 